BYU 25, Utah Valley 26. The Wolverines won 114 to 101 two years ago. Mark, I think it's safe to say neither team will get to the century mark in this game. It was an ugly first half, but it's close. Ergo, we're going to have an entertaining last 20 minutes. Yeah, I uh, I wouldn't have picked this score, uh, Robbie, for the halftime score. Just so many misses in this game. I haven't seen this many misses since a Reverend Moon wedding. I mean, he, <laughs> he just miss, miss, miss everywhere you look. BYU, I hope they just kind of settle down and just let's be patient, get good looks, step into it, follow through. You know how to do it. I think if they could knock down a couple, that's going to open the floodgates. It's halftime, starting to feel hungry. Dinner after the game at JCW's includes something for everybody from burgers to wings, shakes to salads. JCW's quality and a lot of it in Lehigh, American Fork, Provo, South Jordan, and coming soon to Harriman. BYU will start with the ball in the second half, going now from left to right in the home whites, UBU. Right to left, and Connor Toulson picks off TJ Haas, who picks it back from behind. So both teams trade turnovers here in the opening second. Zach Selyus for three, missed it short. BYU now 1-4-11 for from distance. And here come the Wolverines back the other way with that one-point advantage. Steele at the free throw line, hands it off. And it's a little short from Ben Nikwasa. 40 seconds in. Both teams have missed a shot. Turned it over once. Zach Selyus gives it to Jasheer Hartnett. Jasheer kick out to Zach, and he missed it. Goes back to retrieve it, but won't be able to shoot it right then. Yoli gets it to Nixon. Jasheer left side. Steele comes out to get him. Yoli Childs for three. Missed it. BYU 0 for 2 to start the second half, both from distance. And they're 1 for 12 in the game. Isaiah White drives right down the lane and slams it home for the second time tonight. Three-point advantage for the Wolverines. DJ was there. I think he thought he had help behind him and nothing. Celius to TJ. TJ driving down the lane, had it knocked away. Last touched by TJ and out of bounds off his knee. UVU ball up three, 18-36 on the clock. Turnover for TJ. Struggled with turnovers the other night. I don't know if you don't have, maybe you have to start giving more minutes to Connor Harding or, or uh, you know, whoever to just get better production. Second turnover for TJ. He had five on Tuesday night. That's turnover number seven for BYU. Utah Valley with just four. Toulson leaning in. Missed it. Offensive rebound. Jeez. Put back. No good. Jake led UVU with five points in the first half. Couldn't get that one to go. Isaiah White now leads the way with six following his dunk. TJ works it to Yoli. Yoli trying to drive down the lane. Kick out. Zach again couldn't catch it cleanly in the corner. TJ, right elbow, scores it. TJ Haas, eight points, pulls BYU back to within one. That's what TJ needs to work on, that little 15-foot jumper rather than the three. He averaged 12 points a game last year, had five on Tuesday, has six here tonight. Three ball on the way, no good. Offensive rebound again for Steele going over Yoli Childs, and Yo gets whistled for the foul. I think they're going to actually call a jump ball, but the coaches are furious okay. because they thought it should have been an over the back. Yoli only had one foul in the first half, so foul trouble not an issue, but it will just be the jump ball. He only wanted it over the back as well. Steele has three inches on him. Ball thrown into the backcourt. Wasn't touched, so Utah Valley will bring it back across the timeline. Jake Toulson on the left side. Bumped by Yoli Childs, and that'll be the second foul on Yoli. He picked up two very quick ones in the opening minute of the second half on Tuesday. Got to avoid doing that tonight. And it was that kind of foul, kind of away from the play, and... Tries to go over the top of the screen. and gets bumped into Toulson. 17-34 on the clock. Utah Valley leading 28-27. Jake Toulson, left side, stops, working back towards the right. Dumps it off underneath. That was initially blocked. Offensive rebound by Connor McDougal. Out of bounds, and he touched it last. And BYU will end up with the basketball, even though they didn't initially get the rebound. BYU's... So lucky right now because, I mean, UVU's missing shots, shot after shot right at the rim. 
13 offensive rebounds now for Utah Valley. Four times a player has missed a shot and gotten his own offensive rebound. TJ Haas back to the right elbow again. He's fouled and will go to the line to shoot a couple. It's where he hit his last shot, missed that one, but there was good reason. He was bumped. Yeah, I mean, I think that's probably a good shot for him right now. Even though he missed that battle, he was fouled. But just off the dribble, get in the paint, little 15-foot shot, get some confidence, then move back to the three. First shot on the way, good from TJ. Tonight's BYU game is sponsored by America First, Utah's number one credit union. Join us, and you'll be part of a winning financial team. Go to AmericaFirst.com for details, and go Cougars. BYU could get a lead and then extend it beyond one here. I don't know that they got past that in the first half. Their largest lead was one. They've never led by multiple points. They lead by one now as TJ hits both free throws. 29-28. Cougars led for just three minutes in the first 20. UVU led for almost 13. It was tied the rest of the time. Yoli Childs gets backed up underneath and still somehow gets the block. Into the hands of TJ. Zach Selyus, right art, guarded by Jake Toulson. Jashir, left side now. Getting it over to Dalton Nixon. Dalton working on white. Starts left, goes to the right. Misses it. Pulls down his own offensive Open rebound. Three. TJ from distance, got it! TJ Hawes for three. He hits the Mountain America Credit Union three-pointer. That's $50 donated to the American Red Cross courtesy of Mountain America Credit Union. And we're giving the fans something to cheer for. 16-10 on the clock. BYU leading by four. It's their largest lead. White travel. No, they're not going to call it. Eight on the shot clock. Jake Toulson working on Celius. Drives in. Right hand drops it in. A little teardrop from Jake Toulson. Seven points to lead UVU. It's a big shot. UVU needed that bucket. Zach Selyus driving the lane, draws contact, and he will go to the line to shoot two with BYU leading by two after the break. 15.46 to go, BYU 32, UVU 30. This is the new skin, BYU Sports Network. On the court, it's the job of the defense to protect the rim. On the road, it's the job of the 2019 Nissan Rogue to help protect you with its available advanced safety technologies. Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. BYU 32, Utah Valley 30, 15.46 to go. And free throws coming for Zach Selyus to try to extend that lead. First time tonight, Mark, that BYU is led by more than just one point. Yeah, and I, I feel like if they can get a little cushion that they might loosen their shooting up a little bit. TJ has been much better this half. Hit a big three and an 18-foot jumper, a couple free throws. So he's hopefully coming around as Zach makes the first. Zach, an 83% free throw shooter a year ago, puts BYU back up by three. Largest lead of the ball game has been seven for UVU. Second one doesn't go for Zach, so 33-30 holds is our score line. Still a one-possession game. T.J. Washington terminates, throws it across the court into the right corner. Nakwasa will take it and hits a three. First three-point basket for Utah Valley this half, just their third of the game. These two teams have combined fifth, five for 28, <laughs> make it six for 29. T.J. Hawes hits another a Mountain America three-pointer. Great answer for T.J. after a tough shot from Nakwasa. Ball knocked away into the hands of Yoli Childs. TJ to Zach for three. Nope. Don't love it. Had a two on one. Could have been a layup. Zach wanted the three. Foul called on the other end. Quickly up the floor. And it's TJ Hawes who's whistled for his first foul. Third team foul on BYU. UVU pushing the pace after that missed three pointer. TJ almost trying to avoid yeah. the contact and couldn't. Under 15 minutes to go. Jake Toulson gets the inbound pass, drives the lane, gets the defender in the air, and scores. Dalton Nixon bit. Jake Toulson scores and brings Utah Valley to within one. Team high nine points for the former Cougar. TJ Hawes guarded by Nakwasa. Goes left side. Jashir will fire up a three and missed it. 
Rebound pulled down by Bailey Steele. 36-35, BYU leading it by one, 14-20 to go. Into the lane, Washington gives it up to Isaiah White. Contested shot, no good. TJ Hawes rebound coming back the other way for BYU. Hawes into Yoli Childs to Celius, back to Yo. Working on Steele and scores. Childs with his first basket of the second half, 12 points for Yo. I like that, they're relying too much on the three. Get, get your best player some touches. 38-35, BYU leading by three. Washington to Toulson. Toulson thought about a three, drives into the lane, pivots, kick out, three ball on the way, a little long from Isaiah White. BYU three of 15, UVU three of 16 from three-point distance. And BYU turns it over on the other end. Out of bounds, last touched by BYU. Wyatt Lowell returns to the game for Utah Valley, and he will inbound it for the Wolverines. BYU will counter with Connor Harding, the freshman from Pocatello, who will replace Zach Selyus. 13-38 on the game clock, BYU with the 38-35 lead. Washington working on T.J. Hawes, driving through the lane, looking for steal. He wasn't expecting the pass. Turnover for the Wolverines, and here comes BYU. And we're going to have a double foul called against TJ Hawes and TJ Washington. The two TJs get tangled up. It's a double foul, and will be the third foul for TJ Washington, second foul for TJ Hawes. I don't know if they're going to look at the monitor or not. Double foul, it'll be BYU basketball. Curious call as you look at the replay. TJ did not do anything other than run down the floor. They got tangled up, but TJ uh, certainly has a right to run down the floor. Didn't, didn't do anything, I think, to merit that foul. Both players were upset with the call. Yeah, probably should have just let it go. I mean, they just got a little bit tangled up. TJ inbounds it to Hardnett. Third team foul for both teams. TJ to Yo. Nice. Dalton Nixon left alone. Yoli was double teamed, found the open guy, and BYU with their largest lead now at 5, 40 to 35, 13 minutes to go. More, please, more. Give me some of that ball movement. That was beautiful. Wyatt Lowell, cross court pass. Shot no good. Rebound pulled down by Connor Harding. TJ long three. He Got it. <laughs> TJ Hawes with his third three pointer. It's another Mountain America three pointer and timeout called by Mark Pope. BYU with a game high lead of 8 43 to 35. 12 41 to go. BYU has hit more three pointers in the first seven plus minutes than they did in all the first 20 and have opened up the eight point lead. First called timeout of the second half. Immediate timeout, and we'll take it. 43-35, BYU by eight following the TJ Haas three. You're listening to BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Here is Ben Bagley with a scoreboard update. A top 25 score of interest in college basketball. Number seven, Nevada up 53-40 on Pacific with 11.30 left in the second half. Back to Robbie and Mark, courtside. Thank you, Ben. This game is brought to you by Siegfried and Jensen. Siegfried and Jensen has been helping Utah families for over 25 years. BYU on a 7-0 run after that TJ Haas three-pointer. BYU after being one for 10 in the first half, now three for six in the second half from three-point range and have a game-high lead of eight, 43 to 35, with 12, 36 and counting to play. The zone from BYU here. UVU working it inside. Connor McDougal from the right block. Goes in off the glass, ends that seven nothing run. BYU's lead cut to six. Nixon, Childs at the top of the arc. Yoli will give it right back to Dalton. Hands it off to Jashir. Bounce into Nixon. Cross court. 
Three ball on the way. Money, Good. Harding. Connor Harding hits the three. BYU now four for seven from three-point range. Great vision by Nixon as he caught it on the post, knowing Harding was in the corner. BYU by nine. Lowell trying to answer on the other end, and he does. <laughs> It's feast or famine here. Once BYU heats up, so does UVU. Wolverines two for four from distance in this half. Both teams were atrocious in the first half and shooting at least 50% here in the second. BYU up by six, 46-40. Hardnett working it inside, looking for Childs. McDougal poked it away. Foul is called, and that's going to go against Connor McDougal. That'll be his fourth foul. So he's going to have to come out of the ball game, and Bailey Steele will go back in. Well, that's kind of his job, McDougal, is to, to be physical with Yoli. He's picked up fouls, but he's done a nice job. Timeout called by Mark Pope, 11.25 on the clock. BYU leading 46-40. to 40. And is this going to be a full media timeout? The chairs out. Looks like the it. chairs out look like it. So we'll take it. 11.25 on the clock, BYU leading UVU 46-40 on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. This is BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Hey, BYU fans, at StubHub, every Cougars ticket is 100% guaranteed, and you'll find the best selection of Cougar tickets anywhere. StubHub, be there. StubHub is the official ticketing partner of the BYU Cougars. BYU Basketball coming out of the timeout. Just over 11 minutes to go. Cougars leading by six. Shot on the way, no good. Steele pulls down the rebound. And here comes UVU back the other way. Good move from Connor Harding. Threw a lot of contact, no whistle. TJ Haas sent to the ground by Connor Toulson, who was open for a three, missed it. And second cousin, Jake Toulson, will pull down the rebound. Jake draws double team. Double coverage, backs off. He gives it to Connor. Drives down the lane on TJ and puts it in off the glass. Connor Toulson, strong take, six points for Connor, and the lead down to four. Lone peak on lone peak crime there. <laughs> Just over ten and a half to go. Deshear gives it to Yoli, driving on Steele, missed it just short. And Bailey Steele pulls down the rebound. It's complete opposite of the game the other night. Every foul was called, nothing getting called here. Nikwasa hands it to Jake Toulson, open for three, missed it a little long. Collision and a foul called. And that's going to go against Wyatt Lowell. Picks up his second. That'll be the fifth team foul. Okay, Cannon back into the ball game. This year, Hardnett will take a seat. TJ Washington and Isaiah White also back into the ball game for UVU. Jashir just and Toulson will sit. Two points for Jashir. Not his best night after a strong performance at Nevada. Connor McDougal replacing Bailey Steele as well, so three substitutions for UVU. 10-17 and counting down on the clock. BYU by four with the basketball. Yoli Childs, top of the key, takes one step over to the right, looking for McKay Cannon, who wasn't expecting the pass, and both of them looking at each other, wondering what the other was thinking. Uh, I think uh, Yoli, I think the play there is uh, McKay comes to him and just gets a handoff in the curls and Yoli threw it at him as he started to run towards Yoli. 46-42 BYU by four. Ten minutes left to play in the Marriott Center. A lot of contact again. No foul called. Wyatt Lowell hits the basket. Wanted the and one. Not going to get it. But the lead down to two. It's a one possession game again. BYU led by nine. And it's now a 7-0 Utah Valley run in the last two minutes since then. Dalton Nixon will break that. Going left side baseline for the lay-in. Five points for Dalton. And BYU back up by four. Nine and a half to play. Washington bounces it through. McDougal scores. Back-to-back -back buckets for Connor McDougal. He's got six. 48-46, BYU by two. It's too easy. The guard breaks down, and the big bag has to help off McDougal, and then just a little bounce pass. It was 26-25 at halftime. The teams have scored nearly that many points in the first 10-plus minutes here of the second half. Yoli Childs misses a three. He's 0 for 5 from distance. Dalton had the rebound. Got knocked out of his hands. Foul called on the other end. That goes against McKay Cannon. 
McKay's third foul, fourth team foul. 9.05 to go on the clock. Two point game. TJ Haas, after having a slow first half, scored just six points. He has 19 now for the game. Leads all scores, BYU leading by two. Inbound to TJ Washington, gives it to Jake Toulson, over to Isaiah White. White bounces it down into the corner. Dalton Nixon defending. They'll work it back into McDougal, who scored the last four points for UVU, and he's fouled. Is that gonna go against Dalton? Nope, they're going to whistle that on Connor Harding. Just, uh, must have reached in because Dalton was the guy guarding yeah. McDougal. First free throw, no good for McDougal. The second personal foul on Connor, fifth team foul on BYU. Gavin Baxter returns to the game. Dalton Nixon will take a seat. McDougal had a chance to tie the game at the line. Now he'll just try to make it a one-point game. Second free throw, also no good. Loose ball, out of bounds, it's going to go to BYU. First touched by BYU, then hit off a UVU player and out of bounds in front of the UVU bench. And BYU gets lucky once again, failed to pull down the rebound. We got ourselves a game here, two-point game, 8.45. 48-46, the only Childs double team. Wanted a foul called as he was bumped, hands it off to TJ. TJ driving through, kicks it out to McKay Cannon, who drives it all the way to the hoop. Foul called. I don't think they would have counted that anyway. He missed and the lay-in. It's not in the bonus yet. They may take this out of bounds. I guess we'll see if the two shots are out of bounds. They're going to give him the shot. So he could have had the three-point play. I don't know how he missed that. Yeah, the foul didn't prevent him from making it. So McKay Cannon will go to the line. He was an 80% shooter last year. Trying to extend this BYU lead. The points are always important, but now we're getting... Crunch time and missed badly, McKay Cannon. That's the first one, two points tonight for McKay. Of course, McKay's debut was last year at UVU and had an amazing game in that one. Second one on the way is good. McKay splits them, BYU leading by three. TJ Washington calling out the play, dribbles it across the stretch Y at center court. Picks up the dribble, goes into the corner. Three on the way from Isaiah White, and he hits it. He was 0 for 5 before that make from three-point distance, and we're tied at 49 with 8.15 to go. TJ Hawes gives it up to Gavin Baxter. We'll go to Connor Harding, into Yoli. Yoli drops it off, and the shot rolls in for Connor Harding. A lot of contact, no foul called. Great body control from Harding to score it, but where's the foul? Washington nearly traveled. Got it to Jake Toulson. Goes to McDougal on the left elbow. Hand off to TJ Washington. They work it back inside to McDougal, who quickly got from the elbow into the restricted area and scores a fairly easy basket. Tied at 51, McDougal now with eight points. TJ Hawes fires up a quick three, no good. Baxter rebound, and slams it home! Oh, what a huge play. Gavin Baxter, offensive board, and the slam it on the other end, an and one for Utah Valley to tie it at 53 with a chance now to take the lead. What a slam home by Gavin Baxter. But then Utah Valley comes right back with TJ Washington to knot it up at 53. 7.15 on the clock will take the timeout. BYU and UVU knot it up at 53 on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Whether business, pleasure, a football game, or the area's best attractions bring you to Provo, we can't wait to see you on your next adventure at the Courtyard Marriott. 53 all, 7.15 to go in the second half. BYU led by nine in this half, Mark, and UVU is stormed back. Credit UVU, they're just playing really hard, and even though BYU got a, a put-back dunk, they get a fast break out of it. They take it out really quickly and make a fast break out of it. Now a chance to go up one from the free throw line. TJ Washington hitting his first bucket. 
drew contact. The foul was on McKay Cannon. And he converts the three-point play, and Utah Valley has erased the nine-point deficit and takes the lead with just over seven minutes to play in the Marriott Center. Violi needs to really make something happen. Only four of 15 tonight. TJ Hawes in the corner, bumped and fouled by Connor Toulson. One on one. I'll say of all the fouls that they call yeah. tonight, that's the one they call. <laughs> Isn't that just ridiculous? Toulson just playing good defense and say they got in TJ space. And after all the contact on the shots at the rim, that, that's the one they get Toulson on. Quasa comes back in to replace Connor Toulson. Big front end here. TJ hits the first one. TJ's been great. 7 of 11. 3 for 7 from 3. Now 20 points. He missed his first two free throws in the first half. He's hit four straight now after he hits the second one. And BYU back in front, 55-54. 21 points now for TJ Hawes. His career high is 29. And this coming after just five points on Tuesday. And also a rough first half where he only had six points. Jake Toulson, left side, rolls around the rim twice and then comes out. 6.43 to go, BYU continues to lead by one. T.J. Hawes gives it to Yoli Childs on the right arc. Back up top to Jashir. Baxter sets the pick, Hartnett takes it, drives to the rim, rolls it around and in. Four points now for Jashir and BYU back up by three. Big, big shot, he went right into White. White's a big guy, shot blocker, and he able to use his body. Toulson drops it off to White. Isaiah White gives it to Washington, driving in. Did he push, push off? Yes. Yeah. Offensive foul called on TJ Washington. That's going to be his fourth. Yeah, clearly. I mean, he dribbled hard, and then he extended that arm and pushed his man away. Good call by Vern Harris. Washington remains in the ball game. The substitution, Isaiah White, is going to come out. Wyatt Lowell back in. Eight team fouls now on Utah Valley. It was an offensive foul, so does not result in free throws on the other end. BYU has possession, however. Connor Harding, handoff from Yoli Childs, gives it to Hartnett. Jashir, baseline Jashir. jumper, got it. Four straight points now for Jashir, and BYU up by five. It was just one for five, but he hit the last two. Under six to play. Washington playing with those four fouls. No traveling violation called after he shuffled his feet. Three ball in the corner, way off from the Quasa, and BYU gets the rebound. Trying to build that lead back up, it's at five. Jashir has the hot hand, they got it to him, gives it to Yoli, here's TJ. TJ from the free throw line to Jashir for three. Nope. nope, missed it to the left. Rebound, here comes Jake Toulson. Jake terminates at the left arc, up over the top to Steele. Baxter guarding him, goes back door and through the hands of McDougal. TJ back the other way. Hardnett gives it to Yoli. Yoli in the paint. Rolls it around and in. 14 points for Yoli Childs. It's been a quiet second half. Just four points. But that bucket puts BYU up by seven. A collective exhale from the BYU fans as they get a little cushion here. Three ball. Of course. <laughs> Good from Nakwasa. They answer right back. And Mark Pope calls timeout. And Nakwasa putting his finger to his lips to silence the crowd. He does know they're still down by four, right? Well, he silenced me if that means anything to him. Full timeout, but we'll keep it here. 4.50 left to go. BYU leading 61 to 57. It's a four-point lead. Closer than maybe people expected, although BYU losing two years ago in this building to Utah Valley. They at least knew to take them seriously, right? Yeah, they weren't going to be surprised by UVU uh, by, by any means. And listen, you know they're going to come in and be smart, play very physical. They've done a great job on Yoli, throwing big guys at him. Foul him if you have to. And Yoli's had a really tough night. They crashed the boards, did a great job on the boards. And that's just keeping him in this game. And then big shots like that. Just when you think BYU might run away, that's a couple uh, for him. And, and he, he has hit a three. And Jake Toulson. I mean, they've hit big shots when they've needed to, and that was the biggest to get them back within four. Now, this is a chance for BYU to go and extend that lead, but I don't know that you'll be used going anywhere. I think we're going to go down to the wire. Looking for an even more convenient way to shop at Smith's? Try Smith's Click List. Order online 
pick up curbside by the store. Visit smithsfoodanddrug.com for details. BYU now back up over 40% from the field, 25% from three. And those aren't great numbers, but considering where they were in the first half, that's yeah. skyrocketed. Second half has been much better for both teams. BYU 56.5%, Utah Valley 50%. They both shot well, horrific in the first <laughs> half. I don't think I'm allowed to say those numbers <laughs> on the air. Just think that Harding and Bax are getting ugly. big minutes here late. Yoli Childs has it on the baseline, goes right hand and in. Back-to-back -back buckets for Yoli Childs. He has 16, and BYU back up by six. 63-57, four and a half to play. Really get on to Quasa, hit the three. Jake Toulson, get on him. Oh. Missed basket, McDougal got the rebound, missed again, gets his own rebound, and he's fouled by Baxter. He'll go to the line. Baxter frustrated with the foul. McDougal, McDougal frustrated that he missed. I mean, these are Two point buddies. blank for the big big 6-10 guy. Point blank, uncontested, really, and he missed both of them, but finally gets a foul at least. He has eight points. Six of them have come here in the second half. McDougal 0 for 2 from the free throw line. He hits the first one. A couple more offensive rebounds. That's 16 by my tally in this game. Only, four, only six for BYU. Isaiah White returns to the game. Bailey Steele will come in for Connor McDougal if he hits this second free throw. And he misses it. So Steele will have to wait to come back into the game. BYU by five. T.J. Hawes gives it up to Jashir, guarded by Nakwasa. Looks to T.J. T.J. driving right down the lane to the hoop. 23 points now for T.J. BYU leads by seven under four minutes to play. White to Toulson. Jake driving the lane. Draws contact and scores. Jake Toulson to the line to try to get a three-point play. What a strong move. Jake hits some big shots, and that was the biggest. Strong move. 11 points now for Jake Toulson. Harding picks up his second foul, and will take the timeout. 3.42 to go, our final media timeout. BYU 60, UVU, or excuse me, BYU 65, UVU 60 on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. You're listening to BYU Basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network. Here is Ben Bagley with a scoreboard update. One match from the top 25 teams in college basketball tonight. That game is final as number 11 Auburn beats number 25 Washington 88-66. to Back courtside as we come down the stretch with Robbie and Mark. Thank you very much, Ben. 65-60, BYU has built up a lead of more than one point which they didn't do in the first half. They've done it a couple times here in the second, but UVU staying around, Mark. Yeah, doing it on the boards. I mean, uh, they've taken 15 more shots than BYU in this game. BYU actually has one more field goal, but 15 more attempts is keeping UVU in the game as Toulson goes for the three-point play. And he hits it. 12 points for Jake Toulson. Averaged 11 last year. Had 22 on Tuesday in their season opening win against Westminster. Four-point lead for BYU, 65-61. TJ driving, nearly had a block. Zach Selyus, step back, corner three, got it! Zach Selyus, seven points, gives BYU a seven-point lead, 68-61. Picked a good time to come out of the three-point funk. Just over three minutes to play. Nakwasa bounces it to Steele. He was short. And Yoli Childs pulls down the rebound. Jashir gives it to Yo. Back to Jashir and BYU slowing things up now. TJ comes and gets it. Connor Toulson guarding him at the stretch Y logo. TJ dribbles, gives it to Yoli. Ball taken away. But Nakwasa was whistled for the foul. That's his second personal. Ninth team foul, so one and one for Yoli Childs. Hey. 
Big, another big front end. This will be the last uh, one of one for BYU. they will be in the double from here on out. Yoli is four for four from the line today and misses it. Oh, big Missed rebound, the Nixon. Offensive rebound for Dalton. TJ thought out. about the three, drives it in, bounces it through. Dalton Nixon missed it. Offensive rebound, put back good from Yoli Childs. What a hustle play from Nixon. BYU by nine, miss on the other end, out of bounds to BYU. Steele pushed Yoli in the back. They didn't call the foul, but BYU will have the ball anyway with 2.22 to go. The missed front end, and Dalton goes and comes, goes around this guy, swings baseline, gets the rebound, able to kick it out. Jashir dribbling around, now backs it out. Gives it to Dalton. Nixon to TJ in the corner for three, missed it. Rebound, Jake Toulson driving it quickly to the rim. Bumped, scores, no foul called. Well, that's 14 points now for Jake Toulson. Under two to play, BYU leading by seven. TJ with a game high 23 points, gives the ball to Jasheer Hartnett. TJ. Yoli working on Steele, driving in the lane. Right hand drops it off to Dalton Nixon. Seven on the shot clock, back to Yo. Free throw line, missed it short. Loose ball, back rebound out, to out. Zach Selyus. Smart. Who kicks it out, under 90 seconds to go now. BYU leading by seven. TJ guarded by Connor. 12 on the shot clock. 70 seconds to play. TJ to Yoli. Yoli drives the lane, step back, missed it short. Steele pulls down the rebound. One minute to go. To defend the three. Three's the only thing really that can hurt you. Drive down the lane, double team, kick out, and it's thrown away. Turnover, Utah Valley. Mark Pope's going to have to foul at this point, so get your best free throw shooters down there handling the ball. 52.9 on the clock. BYU leading 70 to 63. And a timeout 30 called. 30-second yep. timeout called by Dave Rose to talk things over here. Seven-point lead for BYU. by T.J. Haas, 23, Yoli Child, 18 points, 15 rebounds in this ball game. He's 0 for 5 from 3, but BYU finally got the three ball to start to fall in the second half. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty good numbers for Yoli, but he's not going to be happy about this game. Right. This is 7 for 20. Yeah, he's struggled, but uh, it looks like BYU might just pull this one out. What a, what an effort by UBU, and how about Jake Toulson? He's such a... He's a guy that played here at BYU a couple years, as you know, and uh, one of my favorite players, actually. Just so kind and gracious and personable. Always sought me out to talk to me. And a lot of these guys, you know, they, they're too cool to talk to you sometimes. But, but I love Jake Tools, and I'm so happy he found a spot and is playing so well. Almost, I think, got the job done for his team tonight. But BYU's smart here. They're going to win this game. TJ Hawes will inbound it. UVU trying to trap him in the corner. They get it to Jashir. He gets across the timeline. Ooh, they wanted a, a travel. Could have been. Nearly got it, but instead it's a foul. Good news is it's double bonus, so Jashir will get two here. And TJ Washington is fouled out. And he's going to try to filibuster the sit down. <laughs> Jashir. Jashir, he sits down right as Jasheer shoots it, yeah. right? Try to Mark. get the home crowd to... Jasheer misses the first one. 46.4 yeah. seconds to go. The only hope UVU has is missed free throws and a turnover, and so they're getting at least half of what they want here. Jashir usually pretty good late in the clock on free throw shooting, but that was long. Dave Rose wondering what's going on here. That I think they never they never subbed in for Washington. for Washington. And I don't know if you can shoot a free throw without five guys on the floor. Maybe that's what Dave Rose is saying right now. 
Mr. Shear missed the first one. Maybe they'll give him uh, two more. I doubt it, but the officials said we didn't, we didn't the Official know. saying he wasn't a legal player because he had fouled out. Never seen that. A lot, a lot of games I've seen, never seen that. Straight out of Hoosiers, the four guys on the floor. <laughs> those are my guys. I guess they could play with four. <laughs> Jashir hits the second one, 71-63. BYU by eight. Nkwasa. A lot of dribbling. Drives down the lane, goes left hand, no good. Rebound, Dalton Nixon pushed to the floor. They want to travel. They've called nothing. Now they're going to call a jump ball. Possession like arrow will favor BYU. <laughs> it's either a foul or a travel. Those are your two options. It looked like everybody there was calling timeout, and he just sat there yeah. on the floor for three seconds. Didn't know a no call BYU, was an option. BYU ball kind of on the jump, but... Another, another weird play. It's the Twilight Zone as it's getting late in Provo. They get it into Yoli, and he's fouled, and he'll shoot free throws. Great second half from TJ. Six points in the first half, 17 in the second half. Hit a pair of threes, and they were big ones. Here's, here's reason 1,097 that I, sh I shouldn't be a coach. I probably would have sat TJ early in this half because he'd had a tough first half and he started to struggle a little bit the first minute or two. And I thought, just get someone else in there as the free throw is good from Yoli. And what a half from TJ. I mean, that was spectacular. You're not the coach. Dave Rose is. He knows. He knows TJ better than me. We'll call that a UCCU smart decision of the game to keep TJ in. Utah Community Credit Union helps people make smart financial decisions every day. Blocking a low fixed rate on a home equity line of credit with no closing fees. To learn more, visit uccu.com. Both free throws good from Yoli Childs. BYU leads by 10. Foul called on Lowell as Jasheer knocked it away. And that should ice the game away. Yeah, what, what a battle. BYU's now, I think, scored, what, 48 points in this half after just a miserable offensive output in the first half. They turn on the Jets. Two shots coming for Jasheer Hartnett. Seven points for Jasheer. 81% free throw shooter a year ago. Hits the first one. Shot clock is off. 23.1 on the game clock. First free throw is good. BYU building that game high lead. It's now 11, 74-63. Second one on the way, also good. And BYU leads by 12. Quasa down the floor, gives it to Toulson. Toulson lost control of it. Connor picks it up, fires up a three, missed it. Rebound BYU and Utah Valley will back off and that'll do it. 75-63, no, Connor Toulson takes it away, drives in, he's gonna lay it in with half a second to go. Booze from the crowd, they weren't fouling. BYU was just dribbling out the clock and then UVU came and stole the ball and drove in for a basket. I mean, I don't, I don't like that. It's not the end of the world. But. So that'll do it now. The final score will be 75-65. BYU trailed by one at halftime, and they win it by 10, a big second half. Both teams shooting better. BYU shot a lot better to the tune of plus 11 in that second half, 75-65 the final. They avenge the 114 to 101 loss in this building to this team two years ago. We'll take a break. Plenty of post-game coverage still to come from the Marriott Center. BYU defeats Utah Valley 75-65, picks up the first win of the season. This is BYU basketball on the new skin, BYU Sports Network.